Welcome to Incredible Kitchen Science. The kitchen is the perfect place to experiment and investigate as well as making some delicious recipes. In today's video, we're going to be looking at marshmallows and the results we end up with. Now, to do marshmallows, you can either buy some or you can follow our recipe to make some, which I'm just gonna show you now. And once you've left it to cool for three hours, here is our marshmallow. I'm just gonna show you, that looks delicious. And that was one of the funnest recipes I've ever done because I've never made marshmallow before and it looks amazing. Before we get started, I'm just gonna cut this into equal spaces, ready to do our experiment. In this video, we're gonna focus on results and we want to find out what happens to marshmallows when they're heated. So we're gonna start by heating them up and seeing what happens as we increase the time from five to 10 to 15 seconds. The first part of our results is getting descriptive. So describe everything that has happened. Unlike a method, you can get really creative here using adjectives to describe in as much detail what has happened. So we're starting with our marshmallows here that we haven't put in the microwave. And then as we go along, what words can you use to describe what's happened to, to each of the marshmallows? And if you're doing this at home, you might also notice even more if you can look in the microwave as they're being heated. So make sure to use as many words and adjectives as you like. You might also like to use some tools to give your results even more detail, such as measuring how big the marshmallows are with a ruler. I've got my microscope here, so we can also have a look at our heated and not heated marshmallows to see if there's an even closer difference we can see inside of the marshmallow. Let's have a look. So you can see all the small bubbles there inside our uncooked marshmallow. In our cooked marshmallow, you can see those bubbles more clearly because they've clearly got bigger when it's been heated. Because it's kitchen science and we've done everything in kitchen with clean hands and we've made sure everything's safe, so make sure you check with a grown-up first before you do this, you could probably try a taste test of your results as well because you can add that in your description, how tasty you think each of the differently heated marshmallows are. So I'm gonna taste this one now and obviously this is all in the name of science eating some gooey marshmallow. 
Mm. That's really yummy. Once you've done all of your analysis and wrote loads of descriptions down about your results, or you might just discuss them at home, you can then state what you've found out as part of your investigation. So you state it really simply. You've done all your creative work, you've put in lots of numbers, you've put in all your taste tests, and then you can state simply what you found out. So when you heat a marshmallow or the longer time you heat a marshmallow for, this happens. So what is your simple scientific conclusion you have found out from your results. From our research and reading our kitchen science booklet, we know that marshmallows are made of foam and the foam's got air inside. So this suggests that when the air is heated, the air can expand, which then expands inside the marshmallow because the marshmallow's gooey enough to let it expand inside. In your results or your conclusion, you also want to compare with your hypothesis. So was this correct? Is this what you thought was gonna happen when you heated your marshmallow? Or, or did something else happen? Do we need to do more experiments and do more finding out to work out why something different might have happened? Thank you so much for joining me for another delicious and fascinating science experiment. Don't forget if you want to know more about the experiments or the science, or the recipes, then download the Twinkle Investigation Pack because it is jam-packed full of everything you need to set up your own incredible science kitchen. And we've also got this amazing video to start you off all about doing scientific observations while you make some tasty sherbet too. See you next time for some more incredible kitchen science. This is the best science experiment ever.